We are now going to hear about why sea change matters. Um, I would like to introduce um, my dad, Mr Humala. Thank you, Holly. Good morning, everybody. I didn't realise the glare was quite so, so vast here. Uh, you've gathered I'm Holly's father, Hugh, Hugh Miller, and uh, I'm here really just to uh, explain one or two um, of the pitfalls, the ups and downs that I've had in really securing uh, some sort of supported provision for Holly. Um, I'm no expert, by the way. I'm only a parent, and um, I... Uh, you know, I, I can answer a few um, questions if, if you feel appropriate to the end. I felt I knew exactly what I wanted for Holly, but found it extremely difficult to find someone who understood the situation, understood exactly what I, I was looking for in the, the support for, for Holly. My aim was to strive really all along for Holly and seeking an organization that would carefully structure some support for, for Holly and Holly's future in the way that she wanted, in the way that, that I wanted. <clears throat> I have, with my wife, been very supportive and from an early stage with Holly's needs, I've found it very difficult uh, in getting advice and securing some sort of facility for Holly in the future. And I have really had very little help from any, anybody, certainly in the earlier days. My local authority, the social work department where we live, were, I'm afraid, completely hopeless in the way they offered me any form of assistance. Um, really by offering me just two care providers and unfortunately I, I went with one that was rather negative. Um, they failed to understand Holly's needs. They completely lacked any sort of vision that Holly and I were looking for in any direction. Unfortunately, um, it went on for considerably longer than I, I would have hoped. Uh, there was meeting after meeting that took place really trying to establish the way that Holly and I wanted to move forward. But eventually, the local authority appointed a new director of uh, social work, and he really understood what I wanted, what Holly wanted. And he allowed me, fortunately, to go out there and knock a few doors and seek a care provider. I found it immensely difficult, really, because, again, I didn't have any advice. Nobody was able to say, you know, do this, do that. I found it a complete minefield out there just to try and identify a suitable care provider. I met and interviewed literally dozens of organisations who asked me what, what I wanted, what I thought I wanted, really, for, for Holly. And they promised me all kinds of, of support. And then I knocked Sam's door of sea change and quickly found myself being interviewed by Sam. <laughs> to my surprise, she was actually telling me what I wanted to ask. She told me, what a young lady actually wanted and what a young lady actually needed was something that perhaps a dad finds it difficult to, to understand. However, needless to say, the local authority did agree to allow me to take things further forward with sea change. I'm delighted that they were able to do that. And all that that I've just said is, is now history. Holly is now a very busy young lady. Her diary amazes me. It's actually, there's more entries than my own diary, and I am a busy guy. Holly is involved working voluntarily for Sea Change, and she is also working as a director for Dates and Mates. Uh, I was actually very impressed with this little uh, annual report that I hope everybody has a copy of, but there is a, an article in here of Holly, I've only had time really to read Holly's, but I, I was very impressed with the way this was actually compiled. And thanks for doing that. As I was saying, Holly's a very busy young lady. She's working for Dates and Mates, and she's also, because of her interest in politics, now working for Joe Swinton, our, 
our local member of parliament, which she loves. Holly's always been interested in politics and current affairs. And for quite a number of years, she's attended various colleges locally in, in the Glasgow area uh, and thoroughly enjoyed studying. Her two younger brothers have been very successful. Um, fortunately, they, they've graduated through universities and uh, Holly wanted to do something similar. Um, as a result of attending these colleges, Holly was able to access the University of, uh, of um, Strathclyde, the former Paisley University, where she attends a politics and social sciences course. She does receive uh, support to attend that course, but she has thoroughly enjoyed it. She's blossomed as a result of that. And uh, you know, I think it's a tremendous effort for Holly with the support she's had. Uh, and I have to say this, it was more Holly's doing that got her down to, to the university than I. But as a result of the attendance there, she certainly uh, gained a, an awful lot of confidence. Generally, the support that she's received from Sea Change has allowed Holly to travel, to allow Holly to gain a considerable amount of, of local knowledge and confidence. And, uh, you know, I'm delighted that she, she is blossoming from the, the support that she's received and the involvement that she has received from Sea Change. Uh, and I can only offer, you know, my sincere thanks to the team at Sea Change for what they've done for Holly. That's really all I wanted to say, but uh, on another issue, uh, there was something that I felt was very valuable in the, the way that we have structured Holly's independence. We've been very fortunate to allow Holly to um, get a little house of her own. She's been in the house for five years, and I think that in itself has allowed her some independence, some independence She's probably learned the hard way, maybe, but I think that it has offered a tremendous amount of, of backup from Holly. And the way we went about it was as a result of help from uh, the Glasgow Independent uh, Living Centre and also ownership options. So Holly is very fortunate that she is in a house that she owns uh, that is being paid for as a result of a certain structured way that uh, the interest on the mortgage is, is covered with housing benefit. And although I'm no expert in this field, if anybody wanted to ask any questions about the way I went about it, then please feel free to ask any questions now or see me later on today. I'll be only too pleased to offer whatever help I, I can. Uh, would there be any other questions at all? Or? Is everybody, everybody happy? Well, look, thanks very much indeed for listening to hopefully just a few words that I wanted to say but ended up more than I perhaps initially planned. I think what we're planning now is to go on and show some uh, clips, DVD clips. But thanks very much indeed for the kind invitation. All right.